well, going out to dinner or going grocery shopping, you have undoubtedly noticed some higher prices out there. And this is true nationwide, not just here in the Wiregrass. WDHN's Aaron Dixon now joins us with some context and perspective and facts. 5.4% across the country the past, over the past year. You may especially feel the punch at the grocery store and the next time you eat out. The pandemic put the global supply chain on hold, and the supply chain has been playing catch up ever since people started returning to the workplace. Restaurants are even having to find substitutions for food on their menus or even find a new supplier. It's really hard now to even go by the menu because any given week they're, they're going to be out of something. We've had to kind of step outside of our normal supply chain. Prices are up across the nation on everything from gasoline to toys, but food prices have risen higher than most. Meat and eggs have gone up 12% just the past couple of months. First time in 12 years that we've had to do an increase, you know, we had to make some moderate changes. We've seen some cost increases. Restaurants like Bella's Fine Dining and Sure Value Foods have been around Dothan for years. Neither has seen anything like this kind of inflation. All of us are looking at an increase on our menu and our prices. We really don't have a choice. Both businesses are having to find substitutions. But they say demand is still there, especially after so many people stayed home so long because of the pandemic. Probably actually seen more customers and our businesses, you know, holding steady. Packed every evening uh, that we're open. A lot of people are turning back towards the local people, which is a good thing. Bigger companies nationally, such as FedEx and UPS, recently decided to move goods 24-7, which makes help things move along a lot quicker. Amanda. All right, Aaron.